What is the goal of the one turn kill deck? So first off, as always, I've got the list organized, easy to look at uh, in a Google Doc. Links in the description along with a bunch of other decks. This is my main doc. I make one of these for each game that I play card game wise. Keep track of my list. So this is in the description. Rather than going through all 30 cards, which would take forever, we're going to go through a few of the key cards and explain the win conditions. So what is the combo? The combo, OTK, what does it even mean if you're not familiar? One turn kill, it means we're going to win all from the hand. So they have full health, and then we kill them in one turn out of nowhere. That's the combo. So what is the combo? It's mainly Pressurized Blob, Dripping Dolly, and Boris the Vodka Shaman. All right, so let me walk you through this. If you're new to combo decks, they can seem intimidating. I promise once you learn how to play them, they're really fun. And this is actually a good one to learn if you have the cards for it. So Pressurized Blob, one attack and three health, pounce so it can attack right away. And it gains plus one attack whenever a water card is played. So you play this card first, and then as you play more water cards, you're buffing the attack. Now what we do is we use Dripping Dolly, and we copy that so we choose we play the blob first we choose it and we become a copy of it and you'll see this in the sample match later in the video i'm going to do this combo you'll see how it works in action but after we play dolly you're probably following along it's not too complicated now we have two blobs and they're both going to be two attack and three health because it's going to get that plus one attack we're going to use other cards to keep buffing our two blobs and get them up to basically about seven attack before we play Boris. And then this says, double the attack of creatures on water tiles until the end of the turn. So the most basic form of the combo, you have two blobs with seven attack each. You play Boris, which they both get plus one because it's a water card. That's what the blob does. So the blob goes up to eight attack. Then it doubles and becomes a 16 attack creature. And since you copied it with the dripping dolly, you have two blobs that both have 16 attack. That's 32 damage. That's how you can do a one-turn kill, doing more than 30 damage in one turn. Of course, some decks will heal themselves above 30, so you might need even more, but that's the basic combo, which usually will be enough to win. So there's a few other things you'll need to know, but I want you guys to remember this for the water deck. It's not as complicated as it might seem. It's a lot of cards. There's a lot of other things, but the main core combo is just blob, plus Dolly to combo it, to copy it, plus Boris eventually to double it. That's really the three pieces of the combo. Now, the fourth piece is just other stuff to buff. So it's basically uh, Blob, Dripping Dolly, buffs, and then Boris. So what are those buffs? The main two buffs I'm using in my list are additional buffs, that is, are Poseidon's Kiss, Warcry, give plus one, plus one to creatures on water tiles. So when you play this, your blobs will get plus one attack from their own effect, and then this will give them another plus one attack. So you're getting extra buffs, and this will also buff other stuff on the board. As we'll discuss, you might have other creatures like Sponge Dino. Uh, so that's one of them. And then the other one, even better, is Amphibious Regent. Uh, creatures on water tiles gain plus two attack. And since attack is what really matters, our health stat doesn't matter much for this deck. This is even better than Poseidon's Kiss. Both of them are good, though. And there are other options, including stuff that's not even programmed in yet. Since, of course, as of the time of me recording this, there's still about 120 cards that are being added in one week at a time as they program them into the game. So there's stuff, other options already existing and to be added. But the two that I'm using for the buff part of the combo are the Regent and the Poseidon. So that's really all you need to know for the core of the deck. I'm going to go through a few details pretty quickly, then we'll get into a sample match. But as long as you understand that basic concept, you, the combo, you play the blob, you copy it with the, uh, the dolly, you use your buff cards, your Regent, and your Poseidon's Kiss, and you're going to play some other stuff as well, because every time you play a water card, you're buffing your blobs as well, so you're going to use... Uh, for example, where is, oh, where is it? Delphine's Call, Rummage for a Water Card, then you play the Water Card, that's two more Water Cards. Like, you're playing tons of different Water Cards, and eventually you're finishing it off with Boris, the Vodka Shaman. Now, a few other quick notes before we get into the sample match. You do have an alternate win condition. What if your draw is bad? What if you don't draw the blob? What if this is the bottom card of your deck? 
Well, that's why I've been actually pretty impressed with Sponge Dino. Whenever you play a water guard uh, card, gain plus one, plus one, and it's two, three. So the only thing is it doesn't have pounce. This does not gain health, but it has pounce. This is actually better in a lot of ways, but the not having pounce means you can't like use it from your hand and kill them immediately. You have to play it a turn before. So with a lot of different draws, it's going to be good to play Dino earlier. And if it survives, it it becomes an alternative to Blob. Once this is able to attack, it's just as good as the pressurized Blob. So if you play this and it survives for a turn, you can copy it with Dolly, buff them both up, and then use your Boris. Like It's an alternative to the Blob. And I think people are overlooking Sponge Dino. It seems like some water decks, people aren't even running Sponge Dino. I think this card is essential. So that's a really, really good way to increase the amount of draws that are winnable. Pretty important. And then one other thing is, what if you just draw so badly, you're just trying to stay alive. You don't have the combo. You don't have the blob or the dino. Your last resort is to try to survive. You do not have a lot of defensive options in this deck. I took out Roided Radis. I took out a couple other things. We're usually using Tomb Scorer on our own creatures as well, so we're not really using it defensively. This is one thing you can use if they play something you don't have an answer for. You can get rid of it with Tomb Scorer, although you don't really want to if you can avoid it. But the main defensive stuff we have is Leaky Fridge, 2-7 Insult, and you can use Hollow Maidens to get multiple of these and keep stalling. As well as really just using Mysterious Memer to try to look for things like Golden Shower or the Electric one that does 10 damage plus 3 to the adjacent units. I forget what that one's called. Uh, Hot by Coal, more Hollow Maidens to get more value from other creatures. Like, whatever value you can get, even Deep Freeze to just survive one extra turn, one more chance uh, before you die to try to kill them. Uh, the Memer, as well as our own Mysteries, which we're using the Sly's Mystery along with three different Mysteries in the deck. So, in particular, Sneak Attack is a great way if they have one big creature to get rid of it. Get rid of like a beer sorit. Well, no, sorry, a uh, intoxicated beast. I think the 7-7 seven, seven guy or, uh, you know, a Terraramba, an evil Saint Nicholas, uh, you know, a, a croissant, like any of those big dudes that want to hit face sneak attack is pretty good. You have a few of those options to stall, but not much. If you have a really bad draw and they're aggressive, I mean, you're going to lose sometimes, but... Otherwise, everything else in the deck is pretty much draw. <laughs> Drawing as fast as we can to get to that combo. It's a pretty simple deck. Okay, let's jump into a sample match. Let's see if we can just get one right away with no edits. So we got a match, and oh my god, I got three of my combo pieces right away. That's so weird. I guess we'll just keep this hand, but I'm not sure how to feel about that. Let's turn on the music. Uh, oh, it is on. Can't even hear it not actually on all right whatever we don't have any music fine we'll live with it but yeah we drew three of the combo pieces right away which is kind of odd very unusual but let's roll with it i'm gonna do all of my drawing as much as i can we don't play any of these combo pieces right away so i just play this to draw a spell gives me return of the dead we'll use that later got this which will draw me a card when it dies Unfortunately, I don't have a way to kill their Voltage Junkie, so they are also drawing a lot. This is such an unusual draw, though. Like, most opening hands, we're going to have no combo pieces, so having three of them is quite uh, unusual. That's an unusual draw. They destroy my 3-3 three, three guy using Soul Neutralizer. Okay. And by the way, I didn't mention this in the explana uh, explanation, but Expired Good is very strong. You can send Provoke creatures back to their hand with this when you're trying to get lethal. So they have Double Voltage Junkie. I bet you this is a Hollow Maiden. Um, we're not ready to do the combo yet, but we do have a lot of pieces. We're going to hold on to the secret for a bit longer. I guess let's find out if it's a Hollow Maiden. It's not a Hollow Maiden. So with a hand like this, we're just waiting. We have no reason to play anything. We're just looking for that combo. We're looking for the chance to play it and just win, basically. So I could use Return of the Dead to get another Octocaster if we uh, we kill this. And we're going to use this. Anytime I can get more draw, I do it. That's the way the deck works, like, fundamentally. Draw as many cards as you can until you have the winning combo in your hand. 
two, four, six, eight. So eight cards for them. This takes me down to six. I'll get a double draw from the Jimmy. And here's where we can play Sponge Dino. I also forgot to mention that this card is very iffy. I'm probably going to take this out. It's, 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 it dies too much. It doesn't get value often enough. Anyway, I think this is a good place to do a Sponge Dino pl uh, plus a Fridge. I like playing these two with each other, so it makes it harder for them to get at the Dino using that Provoke. And then we will play the Grotesque Grandmother. We'll see if it lives. It's a pretty strong board. Now, if they don't kill Sponge Dino, we might just, you know, get to use that next turn. We happen to have plus, uh, Pressurized Blobs. We have a lot of options here. But we might even get the Dino play. They use Blowback Pacho, kill the Dino. So as you can see, they are going to want to do that. We might have the combo next turn, though. We might have Lethal. They play Magma Dom, but do we really care? Yes, they get to cycle a bunch of cards, uh, but does that matter if we just kill them first? No, it doesn't. So Magma Dom, not very scary for this deck. Magma Dom is interesting. Everyone, I mean, of course, it's a very strong effect. For me, those fire decks, they haven't clicked as much as the water decks, at least not yet. So they kill the Dino with a Fireball. They play Pacho. They're just trying to defend against future threats on the board, but it's not going to matter. The only question is, is this secret a deep freeze? If this is a deep freeze, it'll block our lethal. That's the big question. If it's a deep freeze, it'll block our lethal. And if we hit deep freeze, which says, you know, when your avatar takes fatal damage, prevent it and give it untouchable to end of turn. We want to make sure we leave them at the lowest health possible. So we're going to go ahead and go for the combo here. Uh, I think... I don't know, actually. Do we have enough? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We're actually, like, slightly short of the combo. I think we have to wait one more turn. I think we're actually not... It's not quite enough. We have to wait one more turn. So they have 14 damage. Now we, have, now we have lethal next turn unless they have deep freeze. The thing is, as long as we don't die here, if they have deep freeze, we also have deep freeze. So as long as we don't die here, if they have deep freeze, we can still win. Because this is just making sure we stay alive for a turn. Okay, so let's start the combo. We got our regent as well, so now we definitely have what we need. So we play the blob, we play the dolly, making all of my tiles water tiles, by the way. Important for expired good. Uh, now we can play Deep Freeze. We saved it for the buff on the blobs. Now we can play the Regent. We're watching our timer, by the way. In the current implementation of the game, you will really easily run out of time if you don't do this combo kind of quickly. And so you just have to do it. I'm going to take another Deep Freeze because I know that we're kind of close to dying here. And I want as many opportunities to block that as possible. Okay, now expired good we'll send back most of the stuff uh, sending back berserker can be bad some of the times but i think we're okay then we parkour and then we're out of time parkour and we're out of time so we're gonna play boris and just make sure we don't run out of time i i, I want to play poseidon's kiss but i literally think we will run out of time animation wise so i'm not even gonna bother we have lethal anyway the question is is it deep freeze is it deep freeze do they die here no, it's Deep Freeze, so exactly as expected. And then I do have time to just toss out this classy mink and get me a draw. Oh, play that Hollow Maidens, and we're out of time. All right. Let's see. All they need is a Liquidation, Liquidated, just to, like, immediately defend, you know, and stop me from attacking next turn. This is not ideal because, yeah, if they do wipe the board, we don't have other way to win. Like, we pretty much used up all of the good stuff. But there was no way around that Deep Freeze. Until they add in Trash Panda, we have no way to just, like, delete Deep Freeze and then kill him anyway. So we're really waiting for them to add more of the anti-mystery stuff, which is coming. But in the current form, we're exploiting that in the current meta by using Deep Freeze, because Deep Freeze is insane right now. Deep Freeze, I think, is very underrated. I mean, it doesn't look like they're... I'm waiting to see if they liquidate. Maybe they're just waiting till the end to do it. But it seems like they don't have liquidation in their hand. 
If they don't have a card that says ensnare all enemy creatures, then I don't think they're going to get us. Like, I think we're good. Hollow Maidens, what just died? I missed it. Boris died. We get an extra Boris in my hand. That's pretty big. I was kind of hoping a Blob would die first, but nope. So that's win. That's GG. That's GG. So there you go. That was a little bit odd because I got so many combo pieces in my hand right away. But it was okay because you actually can see there, you don't really want the combo in your hand. You actually want all the draw in your hand. So those combo cards, having them in my, in my hand means I just don't play them until I win. So that's a bunch of cards I do nothing with the whole game. Like, like getting combo pieces early is sometimes uh, as much of a drawback as it is an advantage. Ideally, you want to get your big draw stuff right away and just draw into your combo. You have a few different ways of uh, getting there. But yeah, I think that was still a good match. I was a little worried at first. Was that opening draw like going to make the game seem like too easy, but I don't think so. I think that was a really good demonstration, especially because we saw how if we go up into that deep freeze, we need to be ready to hit him again the next turn. The one thing there is if they had liquidate, it would have been tougher, but I think you got the basic idea of the deck, so give it a try. The link to the deck list is in the description. Uh, let me know what you think. This deck is so strong. I encourage you to learn it. Take some time and figure it out, because if you don't know how to play this deck, learning it will help you level up your skills in general. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Flux, signing out.